Hello everyone. Welcome back for part number four. So for part number four, we are going to introduce the list view, just like what we have right here. List view is the con containers that contains um, list items, and you can see that for standard HTML, you can use ul tag and order that list and li to represent list item. Now let's go step by step and see what happened. How can we do this? Okay, so let me remove this for now and let's remove this. And here we go. So that's going to be our previous work for part three. Now for part number four, I introduce another class called item. Okay, so for this is going to be applied for each list, list view item. I have margins, font size, and color set accordingly here. Now, in order to show the list, okay, you're going to need to first start up with uh, the data that hold this item. So we are going to introduce food as the collections, okay, and we're going to have objects for the ID name food1 and also um, price equal to 10. And we're going to do this for three different objects for 20, 30, and for 2, and 3, and the ID 2, and 3, like this. Don't worry about that. Okay, we fix this later. All right, so this is how you introduce the variable here. And now, whenever we already have a variable here, the next step is we are going to tell the UI that we are going to connect this variable to this list view. So in order to work with list view, go ahead and look at the documentations that are available online here. So documentation is available in um, component sections and if you go over list view, it's going to show you how to work with this. Okay, so let me show you how to do this by our ways. So I'm going to add list view in here. So it's the component tag called list view and we have the end of list view. Now for this list view, um, we're gonna need to connect the data. Okay, how do we connect the data? Uh, for most of the React, Reactive programming framework like um, VJS, AngularJS, and ReactJS, um, we can actually do the looping, okay, in directly inside the tag. You don't have to do it in J JavaScript. We can do it right here by saying for, for VJS equal to, and then put the double quote. This time we say we look at object in this collection. So we say food. And every time it pick up each object like this for use, we need a nickname for it object. So we say food like this. Okay. Now, once we have established the container to contain this item, the next step is we say we have to use the item container we call the template. So let's put V template like this. Okay. And also now once you got a V template, we want just to you know display the list item. So go ahead and put level the text will be equal to something first like A B C. And then we also apply the class for um, item. So save for this. And I, I believe that we need to restart my server okay so it's already gone so let me restart this real quick now back to our explanation we first introduce this tag here um, we call list view now um, to tell that how many list item that we need to display is we have to loop to object in this collection and each time okay we say in this collection we pick it up, the system pick up each object one by one and name it as food, okay? And then uh, it's going to construct a container, okay? The container for the item like this, okay? Rectangle like this, we call V template. And inside V template, you can put many things, okay? So we're gonna have um, a label like this. And um, as you can see now that uh, the class that we introduce for each item is belong to class item here with margin, uh, font size, and color. Next is that uh, once you understand about this concept, 
okay you can see that the text itself doesn't render the fact that we need the name right there so how about this so why don't we change this, this to be you know inside this list view because of the four from now on you can have access to this object information from anything inside this tag so in here is inside this tag so you can access to food object and look at information of the name now if you do this okay it's going to introduce okay the static name food dot name right there and this is not what we want we actually look at the name right so this is not food dot name like what we did here so you just have to buy it so if you want to do data binding you can say v on colon by equal to this but it's a little bit long so normally people just put colon in front of this to do auto binding between the variable for this and I have to do the update and as you can see now we got okay the actual name right here good what else so what if I want to show the food and also the price alongside of this so I can copy this and I can show food price to see if this is working okay so as you can see it doesn't show the second label it's actually show a second label but the first one is gone that is because whenever you have a v template it doesn't know that okay what is inside they just know one thing okay whatever you have you need to uh, do it yourself by introducing stack layout so that the container can contain horizontal or vertical manner of this now we want stack layout that lay down item in horizontal manner we have names and price on the right hand side of each other so in this case we put um, stack layout um, stack layout and orientations orientation is going to be um, horizontal let's put lowercase first horizontal and we uh, move this inside this container okay and you can see that now it's working fine it's telling us that the story this story telling us that okay in read template you have to handle layout design by yourself so if you have more than one item you need to have container so the container that we select from here is called stack layout good okay so in this case what else so now um, we can see list item okay which is good but if I click on it I just want to see more detail of this how do I assign a click a register click event for this row we can simply use um, registration right here we say add item tab equal to do two for example so we go ahead and I mean this doesn't make any uh, you know meaningful name so let's put um, detail food detail how about this food detail detail so now we can go ahead and implement these functions in the methods section so go ahead and come down say um, food detail all right so and what we are going to do is we just gonna de do the alert of static things first to see if this is working correctly all right save it if I click on it not things uh, yeah so now I have the alert okay so if I click on this it's do the alert for me but I just want to see um, let's say for example the um, how about if I just put the name first okay and whenever I change this okay and when I click on this I want to see the price so in this case what we can do is we can go ahead and um, you know take events whenever this function get called they pass the event um, parameters or objects in that object you can actually do this you can say event dot item and now the item will represent the object and you can have access to 
the information of that object one more time. Whenever this function get called, it pass the input object for you called event. That event, you can have access to um, the item by saying dot item, and that item will represent that particular object's information. Now, in order to access to particular um, information of that object, then we say dot and price or name. So now, if I save on this, I click over this. As you can see, it show me uh, correct information, 20, 10, for example. All right. So in this video tutorial, we have introduced the ways to show you how to add um, a list of collection in um, data sections. We also show you how to, um, you know, construct the list view here. How do we um, use the four um, attributes and work with the collections? How do we actually design the um, internal information inside the list view item and register for the item click? Okay, so in the next video tutorial, we are going to talk about, let's say for example, if I want to click over this list view item and it should open up another page that um, give me more information about the food itself like a uh, picture for example how do we do this well that's the concept and contents in the next video tutorial thank you